we all know the Euclidean method in proving that there are infinite many prime numbers. Today we're going to have another proof by format numbers. Now this is in the form of 2 to the 2 to the nth power. Now notice that um, when format first construct this, when n equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, they are all prime numbers, but n is bigger than that. Notice that the number gets big really fast. You know, f6 turned out to be this. Without the computer, you would imagine people won't be able to figure out is this a prime or not, right? So later on, of course, Euler found out that even f5 is not a prime number. Later, people figured out that, uh, you know, most are not prime numbers. So even people argue that maybe the you know the lower numbers are exceptions. You know most should be composite numbers, but this is not proven. Now, of course, we don't care about this. We care about that we can use these to prove the fact that there are infinitely many prime numbers. So the idea is that uh, we need to show for different and the two format numbers are relative prime. So what the meaning of that? That is, they do not share any prime factors. So in other words, each has different prime factors, but then we know that for the format numbers, there are infinitely many, because n can be anything, right? So with that, we know that uh, they should have infinitely many prime numbers. Yeah, uh, with with the fact that uh, no two format numbers share any prime factors. Okay, that's the reason for the proof. Of course, how do we prove that uh, you know two format number are relative prime? Okay, so we're gonna start with a claim on the relation of f n with the remaining one f zero up to fn minus 1. So this equation can be proven using mathematical induction. Okay, Remember, in mathematical induction, we always start with some base cases, and then we have induction step. So let's do it. So in this case, let's figure out the base case. Of course, n equal 1 is the base case. right? So when n equal to 1, f1 by definition is 5 and then if you minus 2 that will equal 3 which is f0 so you plug in the number that can be verified okay so now we go to the induction step in the induction step you assume the statement is true for n equal k in here k is 1 or greater right so what we need to work on is to prove that it is also true when n equal k plus 1. So with the assumption that it is true for n equal to k, in other words, this equation holds. You know, for fk minus 2 equal the multiplication of all the format number up to k minus 1, right? So now, what if n equal k plus 1? So we can plug in by definition that is, and remember, a squared minus 1 is equal a minus 1 times a plus 1. So we use this formula. Notice that here, the two factor, the first one is nothing but fk minus 2. All right, so let's replace that. And the second factor is fk. But by the induction assumption, right, that in the market highlighted here is going to be f0, f1, up to fk minus 1. Let's plug in, we have this. So what that means? It means the statement or the equation is also true for n equal k plus 1. So we completed the induction step. So by the mathematical induction, so we know that the equation is true for all integer greater or equal to 1. All right? So we have this statement. How do we prove that uh, two format numbers are relative prime? All right. Now, now think about it for 
Fn is related to all the you know Fk for k less n. We claim that they cannot have any common prime factor. Okay. Assume there's a factor, right? Which is q. Assume q, of course, is greater than one, right? Assume there's one. Now we know that um, uh, in this case, q as a prime number divides on the right hand side of the equation, so it divides fn minus two. But since q divides fn, so we conclude that q must divide two. Now two, you know, if q greater than one, q has only one prime factor, which is two. So Q has to be 2. But of course, this is not possible because all Fermat numbers are odd numbers, right? It's like 2 raised to the 2 to the nth power plus 1, right? So it cannot have 2 as a prime factor. So we prove by contradiction that, you know, they cannot share any common factors. So in other words, we know that uh, Fn and Fn m are relative prime okay so once we have that let's review the proof outline for the Fermat numbers for the different uh, you know uh, numbers are all relative prime in other words no two Fermat numbers share any prime factor but in the meantime there are infinite many Fermat numbers so we must have infinite many prime numbers okay so that's the alternative proof, the fact that there are infinite many prime numbers. Of course, there are many other proofs. We may get a chance to introduce them in the future. And for now, please share and subscribe to the channel.